Chew Gamer here and I'm back with another episode. Okay guys, it's time to take a closer look at the ultimate meme machine which is right in front of you now, the Steam Deck. And this device is one for all retro lovers because it's an emulation powerhouse. Coming in live at number five, a mega blast from the past. It only can be the Sega Dreamcast. Knocking at the door at number four is the original Xbox I keep loving even more. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, yeah, this after your gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale, that should be enough to buy her a present. Now, Get moving and stay out of trouble. What do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. Now he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. I told him if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. Beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. Flying in at number three, the PS3. And it's the first console I played in 1080p. I can remember buying this like it was yesterday from Debenhams. And Sony was hyping up their HD and the Blu ray experience, saying more or less to customers. Now, if you don't have a HD TV, you'll be missing out on all what the system has to offer. A bit like what they're doing now with the, the 4K and 8K scenario. I'll tell you what, this emulator is running excellent. Much better than the Xbox One. Mm, okay. Check out how the cinematics run. If there's any choppiness. Or, or, um, I lost my mother when I was very young. No, none whatsoever. Absolutely my only memory of her is telling me bedtime fairy tales about a mysterious village. Sound quality village is of Duna, 10 out of 10. The living could meet the dead. Graphics is 10 out of 10. <laughs> mother, why did you wait so long? I told you. I suppose some this games are gonna run good, some games I are gonna go. run. Please, just get us a little trash. closer to the shore. Not a chance in hell. We'd never make it back. As you see for yourself. I have a family to look after, miss. So leave me out of this. He's running pretty smoothly. I've decided. We're turning back. Oh, wait. I must see my mother. It's for your own good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Get there on my own. Chris, you'll be killed! No! Silky, silky smooth. Everything is running how it's supposed to be. In sync.
Loading in at number two is the PS2. And if you love retro RPGs, this one's for you. This has to be Sony's greatest gaming asset thus far because it sold absolute boatloads of units. And this game I'm playing now is a bit of a hidden gem and it's very costly on the gaming market. That's what I expected from you. God hand. Water! Gee. This place reeks. I know. Wait. You don't expect me to mop up, do you? This simulator Come on. is Those guys are cake. Not to mention, much no sexier than you. Frames well, at all your in the sexy cinematics. little friends. They're coming for a dance. Cutscenes are <laughs> running beautifully. They're still sexier than you are. Check it out for yourself. Come on! <laughs> Silky smooth, guys. It's like you're actually playing it on the original system itself. This guy's a beast. Got a meaty health bar. That's what I'm gonna deplete right now. DDT by Jake the Snake Roberts. Taking the number one spot is none other than the Nintendo Switch. And it performs flawlessly on the ultimate handheld. Now we all know we have to be careful with Nintendo because they don't want your money. All they want is your blood and they will strike you down in a heartbeat. So this footage is from my Switch in dock mode. But we all know the truth. I just want to display and show how the cutscenes perform. Even God's world is not but eternal. The pure, unsullied path that God had forged will, as fate dictates, become a muddled, poisonous swamp at the hands of humankind. Order. Normally I'm a retro guy, but I give credit when credit is due because the Switch is an epic machine, even down to the concept of playing it on the go from where you left off from playing on your TV. This console will most definitely go down in history as the greatest of all time. We're just living in the present with it now, but it will break all records in years to come. That's why I'm focusing on building my collection. And not just for monetary gain, I honestly think I enjoy playing this machine more than I enjoy playing, it, playing with my uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X, but they have great offerings too. One other thing, it's been getting pretty dangerous out there. Remember the buddy system, go back to the dorm in groups. That's it for homeroom. So that's enough of the cinematics, let's just check out some gameplay. Hey! Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Everything alright? Hey, you heading back alone?
in dock mode, this game runs superbly. Even seems like the the graphics have improved as well. So I'm going to play the rest of this game in my own time. So you've seen how it performs and they've met in passing. No lagging, no freezing, no stuttering. I guess we're the only family we've got. I don't think it's that strange to look out for my little sister. <laughs> sure, sure. So, how about we all walk home together? And just in case anyone was wondering, I do have the physical copy of most of the games that I displayed today in my video. As you see, this is God Hand, and I do have the disc inside, along with the manual script. And I also showed Fable. I don't know if this is the right one, no, but I do have the, the other version as well. I do have a copy of Fable. And once again, we have the paperwork and the disc placed inside here. Also have a copy of Folklore. And I do have the disc and the manual inside. So yeah, I have backups as well. So as you see, no one can accuse me of not supporting the developers. But that Dreamcast game is only for the rich and famous. So that's my top five emulators that I've got up and running on my Steam Deck so far. And these are a must install on your Steam Deck if you haven't already done so. And stay tuned to my channel because I'm working on a PS4 and Xbox 360 emulator tutorial as of now. Okay guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.